Hey, yo, 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 what's up, what's up? Holla at your boy, Fragrance Family, and welcome back to the Pastor Smell Good YouTube channel, where the sin is always lovely and the siage is absolutely divine. We greet you guys in the name of peace, prosperity, and oh yes, perfumery. It's a great day to be coming back again, giving you guys some content, some news you could use. Now, today is not going to be a review. I'm not going to be giving anything to five-star tests, talking about projection, siage, and longevity, and all that good stuff. But today, we have another unboxing. I've gotten another package in the mail, and I want to open it with you all today here on the Patrick Smell Good YouTube channel. So here we go. This is the box here. It came in today out of Texas, and I'm so glad that it's made it to my residence here in Louisiana. But guys, you see what I'm repping today? I'm feeling real bright. I'm feeling orangey. I'm feeling citrusy. So I'm repping my Miami Dolphins New Era sports cap along with a blue Old Navy V-neck tee. And since I'm feeling bright, since I'm feeling orangey, my set of the day, boom, was Ultra Zest from the house of Thierry Mugler. Listen, this heat and humidity, and humidity is absolutely ridiculous in the state of Louisiana. This is a power performer. This thing performs well in bitter cold, but let me tell you something, it was fighting with this heat and humidity. This is just ridiculous. I don't know what's going on. It's hot enough outside to bake a cake. I'm not lying to you. It's burning up in Louisiana. But let's go ahead and get this unboxing started here because, you know, guys, um, there are some things that are going on in the world of fragrances right now. And I'm going to just be honest with you. It's not great news. Um, and I'm going to tell you more specifically about that news as soon as I get the box open. But um, I just had to come your way and open this box with you guys because I know how a lot of you feel about this house. Um, I think by now you know how I feel about this house. So I figure since we all feel a certain way about this house, I might as well go ahead and open up the box with you guys here on the Pastor Smell Good YouTube channel. All right. So this is a niche unboxing, as you can see on the heading. So this is what it's hitting for today. Are you guys ready? Let me go ahead and get this baby open. I hope this does not disappoint. But if it does disappoint, I'll just chalk it up to the fact people got different tastes in perfumery. You know what I mean? So since my taste is stuck on this house, I'm going to go ahead and share this unboxing with you guys today. Blat Al, right there. Parfum de Marley Carlisle. Oh, yes. We talking about rose. We talking about green apple. We're talking about patchouli. And we're talking about vanilla. Oh, yes. This is what your boy got in the mail today. All right. Now, I got a hell of deal on this, guys, because as you know, this is a tester, all right? This is a tester. Look, even the note breakdown is on the back. This is a tester, full presentation, so I'm satisfied. So I went and copped some Carlisle today, and I'm going to just be honest with you guys. I can't wait to really have a lot of fun with this, uh, barring the right type of temperatures and all of that stuff. But something I've learned in my fragrance journey, sometimes you got to buy fragrances out of season, kind of like you do with clothes. You just come across a better deal. For example, if you get Creed Virgin Island water in the wintertime, you're going to get a good deal. You wait till summertime, jack up the price. Take that from your big bro. All right? Mm. Oh, yeah, it smells very apple -y. Smells very rich. I'm not even going to spray it on camera because when it comes to stuff like this, guess what you don't do? You do not waste sprays. No, you don't do that with Parfum de Marley. All right? So, guys, I've got content coming with these fragrances that I'm getting from the house of Parfum de Marley. And I'm going to just be honest with you. I am truly in almost, I'm not going to say desperation mode, but the sense of urgency has really crept up because as you guys know, Parfum de Marley just sold out. And when you sell out, there's a chance the line you've grown to know and love, it can be neutered and reformulated. So listen, I'm not looking to buy nothing in this season at this point than Parfum de Marley. I don't know what's going to happen with this buyout. I don't know if the people are going to ask fragrances. I, I just don't know. You never know what they're going to do. Sometimes they just go ahead and water them down ridiculously to where they do not even resemble their former selves. All right. So, guys, I'm growing my Parfum de Marley collection. Be on the lookout for some reviews that I'll be bringing concerning Carlisle and Herod. 
And also, let me tell you guys something else I did the other day. I went and put my nose on Tom Ford's Great Vetiver Parfum. And let me tell you something. Off the tester strip, I was really digging it. But I need to go back and put it on my skin before I give you guys my impressions of Tom Ford Great Veteran. You guys know I'm a fan of that DNA. Uh, I was turned on to it years ago and it fits me like a glove and that extra leather note that they put into the parfum, it was it was really giving me what I like to get in my fragrances, all right? But I'm gonna go ahead and spray that on the skin and then I'll come back and give you guys some content. Till we meet again, I'll talk at y'all later. Mm, love y'all.